Mickey, new look, new year. How did you feel about all the, the new charges? Well, I think it took us a while to find our feet. We probably struggled in the first half and, and Queen's were the dominant side. And if they'd been clinical in front of goals, we could have been out the gate at half time and a lost cause. But they were a bit, they squandered a lot of their chances and that kept us in the game. I suppose we still didn't start the second half as brightly as we'd have liked to have done and maybe it was their goal that sparked off a bit of enthusiasm in our players now. I suppose it is the first game they've had, first competitive game together as a team, so you have to understand that as well. So overall, the result was good. Some of the new players have showed up very well and uh, you know if we can build on that then that'll be good. You mentioned some of the players doing well there. Surely were a few pluses there. Ronnie O'Neill coming on for a dream debut, first touch. Yeah, that doesn't come much better than that, you know, but I mean, that's what Ronan Neal's about. He's a very clever player. He gets himself into good positions. It wouldn't happen if he didn't put himself there. I mean, that, several breaks like that could take place and nothing come off them. But that's what's about Ronan O'Neill. He's a very, I think he's a special talent and I think he's a very clever player. The other two who stood out for me, Johnny Lafferty, a few neat points, and, and Peter Hart in that centre half back role mm. played very well in there. Without a doubt, and I mean, Johnny Lafferty is making his debut there today uh, to play at this level and to come in there and get the number of points that he did and put himself about the place, that's encouraging for him. He has plenty to work on, so have all the players. And Peter Hart is centre half back as well. I think he's, he's, he's a great footballer, and we know that for a few years now. And he's growing, into, growing in stature, I suppose, as, as, as each year goes on. He's out of underage now, he's a senior footballer, there's nothing else for him, so let's hope he can build on that. So, a new year, lots of changes, a new Tyrone team, really. Are you enthused for the year ahead? I'm always enthused starting a new year with Tyrone. I think it's a privilege to be there. All these players are very determined to you know, keep Tyrone as high up the, the ladder as possible. Um, the, obviously, it's early days yet. This is a university team, it's not a county team. So you know, we can't make any rash judgments about how good or bad we are. But it's nice to win, it's important to win. And uh, we need to win two more if we want to get to the semi-final. And good to get out playing and good to play in the Mechanic Cup, a very useful tournament this time of year. Without a doubt. I mean, that's all we have. You know, we, we, we can't be playing anything in November and December. We can't train collectively there to date. And therefore, this is our chance to get ready for the National League. And it comes at us very fast. And January goes through very quickly. So we need this competition to build our team for the competition that matters to Tyrone and to county teams. So, you know, we've got to be about our own business too.